I forgot to tell the camera to use the SD card. So it cut off. Anyway, we're just going to try to get rid of this little bit of slippage here. So push that in and then pinch down on the bottom, reinforce all those folds. And that'll help it stay in the basic shape. If it moves a little, it's not my best one, really. <laughs> but, you know, you still know how to fold it. You have to make a, several of these to have them, you know, come out perfect. So don't worry if it's a little sloppy. So there's your bottom of the box. Should look about like this. Toss that over. Let's get going on the top. So we don't have to reverse any of the folds on the top, really. Anyway, so we want the box to have the dollar upright. So on this one, well, we've got to divide it into nine parts, but only eight are equal. And the ninth one is going to be short. So it's uh, about five millimeters less. So the other one was 17.3. So you need uh, 12 millimeters in. You fold it, or that comes out to be, it could be a little bit less than 12 millimeters. Or 7 sixteenths. So, I'm just going to fold it at the, um, let's see, well, if you start on this side, it comes out different than if you started at this side, so, with the dollar flipped over this way, it folds over to the edge of the N. So just fold that back. Or about 12 millimeters right here. From here to here. And it's about 12, so we're good to go. And if you can find a mark on the bill, helps keep everything straight. You need a little bit longer of each of the eight sides so that the top fits over the bottom. So after you got that first fold, now you just divide it into eight again by folding in half. And the top is actually easier, so if you got this far, you're going to get it. And, whoa, these boxes are popular. Everybody's liked them so far. We got the square one. We've got a video for that. The hexagon one. There's a video link in the square box for that one. Done by Head Savage Origami, which got me going on these little boxes. I had forgotten about them. I did make a hexagon a long time ago. So, whatever way you'd like to divide the bill into eighths. Just keeping that little part in. As long as it comes out with all the sides being the correct even divisions. So go ahead and do it whatever way you like on that. This is just how I like to do it.
So there you go. So now again, we need about two thirds for the top. It can be a little bit less for the actual top flat part of the box right here is two thirds of the bill across. So fold it down right under the edge of this one. Excuse me. All right, so you're just you're folding this over. Oops, get that out of there. Folding it under. Use this as your guideline. Get it nice and straight. Line up your edges. Now, we've got to make the top much shorter to make it easy to open the box. So we'll just fold this edge all the way into the crease we just made. Right there. And after you make some of these, then you'll realize you can change the depths and stuff of the side walls. So that's folded into the crease, tuck it under, crease that up real good. So now the top of the box is gonna wrap around like this. So now you open up that fold you just made. And it helps a little bit just to pinch these down. Because the top of the box, you want it to be a little bit nicer. You see that the most. I mean, really, if you ace it, these things can come out awesome. So I'm just pinching those up like here's another one I folded came out really nice I messed up a little bit on the top I was trying to make an octagon but the bottom came out beautiful the sides are all really good and I've put some silver rounds in here and the box is starting to be round on the inside so it's pretty cool I really like these boxes. All right, so now you have it like this, and now you fold this back on its original fold. Crease it down. And now we're going to do the little spiral folding again, except this is the short piece. Skip it for now, because you have to do the angle from one corner to the edge and we don't know exactly where that spot is yet so we'll locate it by using this last piece at the end when we fold it up so you just lift these mountain folds and twist it around to the other mountain fold line making a point comes right over to this next line each time. And then you can leave that one if you want, or you can let it unfold. Just go around to the next line. See if you leave it, you can see you went a little too far if this isn't parallel on the second one. Just do each one. You know, it's a lot of folds because, well, there's a lot more with other shapes, other models. But, you know, eight sides, you got to do a lot of folds to get eight sides. You know. But, 
they come out really nice. It's got a little kink there. Little ruler trick. Nice and straight there if you keep two sides folded up. See, straight, 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 straight. And that's how you tell you're right on the money making the octagon. And see this one lines up if you push that one where it goes, it lines up with the top. Pinching them good. And the next one. And that lines up straight across. And what I meant is if you don't use two thirds of the bill for the top, then these will end down here somewhere instead of the edge coming up here. And that's okay, actually. Uh, on the bottom, then it kind of interferes with whatever you put inside the box. And then the last one, just, just copy this fold. Fold it over. Line it up straight across there to that point. Pinch it down, down. All right, so now the very first one we didn't do. And anyway, so now you pull it apart a little bit. And right here, where you finally see the air gap, this this goes on top so give it a little give it a little twist it helps out and then tuck the next one in and the next one in and then this one and you just kind of kind of pull it around so now you've got it all in there and we forgot to fold the last one So, <laughs> sorry about that. So it goes parallel to this one. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to do. Here's your vertical line. And we don't really need that much of it folded. It's really just to hide it. So, just, just come up here part way. Well, sorry, I'm not the greatest at showing how to make these things yet, of course. But now that's, you know, hidden away somewhat. Should look about like that, see? And then you just... And you can flip these around if you want. And then you can put the short side in the long side. See how I just lowered that one under there? Or you can leave it if you don't mind. The piece ending before the edge right here. Because you got to tuck this in to there. You know, or you can tuck this one into this side. And then, or you can even just do the top like this. And tuck that in first. The, the short side into the long one. That's what I meant to show you. Is you tuck it in like that. And then you see where this angle line lines up with this one while they're overlapped. So we got that, we got that right though. So you can tuck it in right there. And then you gotta, you gotta hold it in place while you 
twist it down. So that that move is, you know, kind of hard for some. And, you know, I've struggled with it myself because you got to make all the angle folds valleys and you've got to have all the vertical straight folds mountains as you kind of spin it around and tuck it in. And as my friend said, it can be done. So I don't really like doing it that way. So let's do it the other way. And you just, you put these folds back. This time we have the first one. And then you just do the second. You just keep going around. You lay it all down. And then you just open it up till you get a little daylight. And put that on top. Now you've really only got to like tuck in this one. And see, so now you just, the easiest way is to just tuck this one in the short side. And I guess I was supposed to put the uh, shorter side on the other end of the bill. So I'm going to switch these right here. There's that little line. See, now I can put the, the short fold in the long side. And you just see, I brought this one in front here from this angle. And you just stick that in there. Well, this is not the greatest video, that's for sure. But there it is in there. And the top's still proper. So you got to keep this pinched. Don't let it slide and start pinching this down flat. And then what you do to keep it together is you got to fold this stuff under to make some kind of pattern. And if you make a square, it comes out pretty good. So you just go line up with one of these sides and fold that. All the way under this flap. Get that little piece in there. So, yeah, the top's pretty hard too. But once you get it and make a few of these, darn, that came out. I mean, I haven't, I haven't even made ten of these yet. Now you got to pinch from underneath, so you don't uh, mess up the rest of the box. Then once you got that one in there, it's a little bit out there. Now you can go to another side and line it up with the top, fold it under this horizontal flap. So we're getting a square there. Main thing is just keep this together while you're doing it. Because after you get these folded in, that's, that's not going to really move much anymore. So now we're folding this one in here. And you can fold actually each point in instead. And make more of an octagon shape like this one. And then you don't have to fold as much paper at once. And they've really kind of worn on it over here a little. But like I said, you know, you got to make a few and then you can get better at these. Now, if you really want it to stay together good, tuck it under that uh, unfolded edge. That raw edge right there. 
So I'm going to do that. Squish that in before we finalize this. And you don't know, don't beat yourself up if yours ain't perfect, because it's hard, man. It's hard, everybody. Now that little corner, you know, makes it look cruddy. Got to stick that under there. And the picture had a really cool way of folding the top that I saw, but I did not determine how to fold that yet. So there we go. It's a little crappy, but we did get through it. And it should definitely fit on top of the other box. And there you go. There is your octagon box with the square handle. <laughs> and practice on making a few. Cut out some 3 by 7 inch paper and do the math to divide it. And then you can make a real nice one out of money. What I usually do, smash this down good. And do the same on the bottom. Make sure it's how you want it before you do it. And do each line. And... You know, it's pretty good for making it, looking through a camera and trying to make a video and everything. Came out pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see about making another one. Take care. Bye.